it's a great day. We just talk to all the students and they're happy to be back in school and they're energized, motivated, ready to be here. It's a great day for most students in Patterson who return to their school buildings for the first time in 18 months. But not all kids got to walk into their classroom today, and this time you can't blame COVID. And that's due to the tropical storm Ida that got a lot of water infiltration. Nearly all of the schools were impacted, which is why the entire district started the year virtually last week. But cleanup and minor repairs have been completed on all but two schools. You take a school 20 and school 24, 24 being the worst. Um, the entire basement was flooded, which meant that the sheetrock uh, coming up three to four feet was wet, has to be dried out. They're going to have to cut it all out and put new sheetrock. And the same thing at school 20 uh, in the basement where the cafeteria is. A third school, the Joseph A. Taub Middle School, is in the final stages of new construction, but Schaefer says supply chain delays caused by COVID have left that building without a temporary certificate of occupancy, or TCO, from the school's development authority. We thought we were going to be on track, and that's what we were told in July, but then, you know, because of that uh, delay, uh, it's just not ready yet. So I walked it last uh, Friday and it's close. So I'm hoping this week we're going to get the TCO. I know that those kids are disappointed because they were promised their new building in September. We were reassured time and again that it would be ready and it is not. It does put our kids at a disadvantage seeing that everybody else has gone back and they're still waiting to go back. The Taub Middle School project is operated by the state, so it's out of the district's hands. But if a remote learning option hadn't already been in place, these students would be looking at a delayed start to the school year that would mean extending into the summer to meet the 180 days. I think if there's any silver lining to this cloud is that they have been learning remotely for a year. And so we know how to learn remotely. We know how to teach remotely. But for the majority of Patterson students, today was a return to some kind of normal. My son was very excited to get on that bus this morning. You know, my daughter was extremely excited this morning to get back to school. Even if that normal comes with a few new rules. There are air purifiers in every room, uh, student partitions, as well as frequent cleaning of, of the classrooms. In the um, lunch rooms, the students will have their partitions with them and they are half going to recess and half will be eating so that they can socially distance properly in the, class, in the lunchroom. When it comes to masking, students will have time outdoors on playgrounds, at lunch and snack time to get a break. But Superintendent Schaefer says even in the high temperatures this week, as long as they're indoors, these stay on. We'll re-examine this if we have uh, higher high temperatures in the 90s that maybe we have to give and we'll talk to the principals give classes a break and they go for a walk around the block, but they have the mask. Um, because I have read everything that is coming out and states that are not wearing masks have an enormous amount of, of positivity rate. And we, we're in, we're gonna, we wanna stay in. There's no timeline yet for when the three remote schools will join the in crowd, but the hope is that it's just a few more weeks. In Patterson, I'm Joanna Gagas, NJ Spotlight News.